If it gets picked and it is locked in, we get a rumble top lane for Cover Shark. Well, what do you make of that then? If you look at the rest of the composition, now that we know Sen Cups, get a couple extra autos. Tower first blood secured by Vitality. Well ahead of Misfit, so they'll maintain the gold lead. As now the pressure is on. Shelly's been summoned into the mid lane. Drowsy will connect as well as the sleep onto Jizuke. And the powered up dash will chunk up that mid to tower. Pressure coming in from all of Misfits. The Sleepy Trouble Bubble oh, goes up. There's the Cataclysm them. involved. Not going to go down just yet. Here comes Cabo. The Equalizer goes down. It's roasting Misfits alive. Let's Bounce gets thrown out by Maxwell. He's run for his life. Jack Troll's back on the front line. Gilius held onto the Cataclysm for so long. Long enough to roast Maxwell for first blood. It's Mini Troop Max that picks it up. Jack Troll devours Jazuke and escapes. Tangook's flashing forward. Where is the paddle star? Not going to get caught yet. Jazuke's on the Front end. The Sand United has already been used. Mickey's running for his life. There's the engage from the Drew Bats. He eats a paddle star. Goes down. The sleep comes out. They're trading back and forth. Senkats gets another. He's got a Blade of the Ruin King active. Jazuke and Senk. And of course, at the end of it, three kills to two in favor of Vitality. The baby cage is put down. Alfari's locked in Cabo. And with Cabo busy overheating, he's not going to do a lot. Goes down the stopwatch, which I'm not quite sure was really worthwhile as he still gets killed in the end against Israel and Shen. They can't control mid because Zoe's mid and she just kills the wave into me and whoever's against her. So right now Vitality can't read. Oh, they, they realize. Don't get spotted out. Gilius, flag and drags forward. Now he's the one that's taunted up. The teleport starts to get champ, but Gilius is obliterated where he stands. Didn't even get a chance to flash or cataclysm. Now Jazuke is the target. Gets devoured by Jack Troll. Pulled back by many true backs. And Vitality are running for their lives. But they have no life left. Jazuke jumps back in. Still no kill on the board. Mickey getting roasted down by the flame spitter as Jazuke is running away. Maxwell stays alive just long enough as the paddle star is sidestepped. And Alfari kills Cabo Shot. Vitality just goes sideline with uh, Ansama, but. Vitality gets the pressure now. Max Lord jumps in first. Tries to stop the tower from dying. Didn't happen. Now Vitality starts pushing mid in two. Of course, it's the last game of the week on 8.3 here in EU. Jazuka gets jumped on. There is an Abyssal Voyager from Jack Troll. The Devour buys just a few extra seconds. Jazuke stays inside the belly of Jack Troll, but not long enough. Gilius goes back in with the Cataclysm, buying some time. Alfari's going oh, long. Jazuke can't do it, though. The sleep comes out. Yowsam, there comes Senka. He blows up uh, Jack Troll in the back. Misfits team didn't happen. Oh, Jack Troll. Not Jack Troll, uh, Mickey. Gonna get uh, a good taunt onto Jazuke. A little bit of a turnaround, Riffle comes out, the silence, the sleep gonna come in, Jazuke takes down Mickey. now Vitality are grouped up, it's a 5 on 4, Sand United will be up when Mickey respawns in 30 seconds time, but that's a good equalizer, Jack Charles found Maxwell, he's got no passive remember, Mini Troop back takes him out, and Gilius is exploded, Senkax finds the paddles, and watch the post game lobby for the week, you we should have swapped over now so you're Viewing will be uninterrupted. Right now, Hansama's being interrupted as the Arcane shifts over the back. Let's bounce by some time. Vitality throw out the Equalizer. Hextech Ultimatum comes down. It looks like Misfits are winning this fight, but nobody's down yet. The Sleepy Trouble Bubble catches one into trade so far. Two kills in favor of Misfit. Let's kiss as a Max Law takes down Vitality. It's a triple kill for Alfari. And, and the engage allows them to win the fight here. Great play from Misfits. Vitality. They know they just have to try and kill the tower shortly, and they have to deal with Baron and Pod minions. And a team that can't really keep the AD carry alive long enough. Kaliste always getting hit by it. Camille trying again. Well, let's see what happens. The flash used by Hansama. Oh, Jizuke. But Jazuke is caught out in the back end. Ripple goodbye. Just enough time for him to escape. Here comes Alfari. Capo shot goes golden with the flame splitter trying to fry Misfits. Simply not enough damage. Mini Troop Max cannot get enough. Ren stacks. Two members of Vitality are down. Max look up flying in. Mini Troop Max is spat back out as Jack Troll is killed. And finally, finally a kill for Vitality. But it is not enough. It is too little and it might be too late. Misfits are in the base. And the fact that Misfits had they have a front line here with the Shen, with the Zack, it buys so much time for the carries to kill the squishy targets on Vitality. Gilius, he's left alone in the front. He will die every single fight. Because behind him, he's his hit points down. 
Uh, him and Cabo gonna clear out the wave. Cabo just slowly overheating there, so no long range equalizer. Back pocket, whether they were scrimming with it or just it made sense this game. You know, all credit to Misfits. They've used their team company. Oh, a lot of damage, but there's no follow up on the paddle start yet. Max Law's gone in. Fate Call was used by Tality. Our split the equalizer could be useful though, as Mini Troopax is trying to run for his life. Hextech Ultimating comes up as Jack Troll is dropped in the back end. Mini Troopax continues to use that martial poise to hop and skip and jump and try to stack those spears. But Vitality are split up. There's no front line to keep the fight going. And Vitality are crushed and obliterated by Misfits. Everything goes wrong there for Vitality. The Rumble ulti is just on a bunch of tanks. The Shuke never finds his way in. The Carries never takes any damage. And Misfits had full control of the team fights and they win the game. Misfits have had full control from the mid game onwards. Cabochon is the last victim to fall and Misfits take down the Nexus turrets. They break their losing streak and Misfits make Vitality go 0-4. Important for Misfits. So many teams around them, they're fighting in the standings. Horrible for Vitality. Starting off with seven wins, and now those teams underneath them, they're getting pretty close. They are indeed.